Comp T to A plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.4. Given a scenario, configure basic mobile device network connectivity and application support. Mobile device synchronization. So what exactly does mobile device synchronization or syncing really mean? Well, it is the process of ensuring that the same data is available on all of your mobile devices, be it smartphones, tablets, or laptop computers. It is comparable to having an invisible link that keeps your data updated and available no matter which mobile device you're using. To start syncing, you need to set up an account on your mobile device. This could be your Apple ID if using iCloud, your Google account if you are working with Google Workspaces, or your email address in the case of Office 365. Additionally, entering your personal details, including a password, and agreeing to terms of service will be required. If you have any trouble during the account setup process, just recheck that your account credentials were accurately entered. After you set up your account, you get to choose the data you want to synchronize across your devices, which ensures that your information is updated and consistent. If you enable email sync, for instance, any action you take on an email, be it sending, receiving, or deleting, will be replicated on all your other devices. Similarly, activating photo sync means that any photos you take on your phone will automatically be available on your tablet or computer. For your calendar, any events you add or modify will also be synchronized across all your devices, so changes made on one will be reflected on the others. The same goes for contacts. A new contact added on your phone will automatically show up when you access your email on any other sync device. Remember, synchronization involves data transfer, which can add up quickly if you're syncing large files like photos or videos, and this could lead to extra charges if your mobile plan has a data cap. To circumvent this, always try to sync while connected to Wi-Fi or change your device settings to only sync when Wi-Fi is available, thus saving your mobile data allowance. With the conclusion of this video, we have now reached the end of domain one of this CompTIA A plus Core 1 training course. Great job on making it this far. Keep up the great work. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.